My shabby strop with the leather just stuck to the plywood. It moves around due to its light weight. I want a height to get some clearance for my hand. Many people hold the strop with one hand to tilt it like this, but I prefer to hold the tool with both hands. I want a beefy heavyweight strop. It is stable on the workbench, which is safe and comfortable. My drill press is too small to handle a long piece vertically. This is my trick. Set up a work piece vertically. Use a level attached to my drill as a reference. Usually this bores a decent vertical hole in the piece. These strops have full size, I mean full faces. I like to use each face for different application, different leathers and different compounds. Over time each face may look identical to each other, so I want identification for each face. Number one, two, three, and no dot. Some people put the dowel and flush trim it right away, but I want to let the glue cure then come back later to trim it. That way a dowel doesn't move in the hole. So I leave some extra when I cut it.
light sounding for the chamfer. Make the surface a bit rougher and also remove some wax for a better adhesion. Also sand the surface of the grain side of the leather for the same purpose. I use a grain side, I mean outside leather for one face. Other three faces go with the flesh side of the leather, which means a flipped side. This was my stropping till yesterday, awkward with the low profile lightweight one. I have to tilt it as the tool handle often hits the bench top. 
This is me from today. I love heavyweight chunk of wood. I was gonna use a bench dog to stop it from slipping, but its weight does the job. Time to test. I'm making the blade dull. Took a while, but I got our dull chisel finally. This is the roughest leather of four faces. Give some white bark compound, which is a medium grit. I don't like a mess, so I seldom add some oil. Basically, I don't really like a compound, which is detrimental. I make a kitchenware, dishes, bowls and stuff on the workbench, so I don't really want oily compound to stick to the bench top. Dry compound doesn't stick to the leather well, but I know it will get in over time. Number one, finest with the grain side of the leather. Second, finest with finer compound. Third, with medium compound. Fourth, with the roughest leather. I tried number two with some finer compound. This is a drier, flakier than the white compound doesn't stick to the leather well. Again, people use some oil, but for now, I go without oil. I can touch up the blade quickly without making a mess with the wet stone. Especially my shop gets freezing in winter, so I don't want to use a wet stone often. I'm more than happy to get these new straps. Big one is for the workshop. The small one is for our kitchen. For the kitchen one, I don't use a harm for industrial compound. I will make a video about it later.